Never give up, bros. Welcome to Geffen's house Sunday afternoon. And look at that. Absolutely proper. Uh, I'm a bit bored. I thought I'd invite you all to enjoy a few twerps on black straps today. I've got this horrible Carlsberg Export Homo here. £5.50 for four tolls. So I thought I'd give it a shot. That's the last one. So, uh, we got a few hoys here today. We got, uh, I put them all on black rubber. Nothing new, but maybe a bit of fun. And of course, when I want to keep time accurately, I just wear this. So first up, we have uh, the leader in the pack. Unfortunately, this is not the uh, black dial variant. I wish it was sometimes. But I've got him on this lovely black rubber authentic Seiko strap, which is, I forget what it's called, but it came on the SPDX 017. Uh, and it's a very stiff, extremely stiff and unyielding strap. But just have a little look. I'll showcase the twerp for all my bros. This is a 2021. SLA 023 and now before I carry on I have put the first significant dent on this twerp can you see it have you spotted it yet bros never give up but it's there I was in Southampton a couple of weeks ago and I was getting out of my car and I'm always extremely careful with the car seat buckle but somehow it just flung back and dented this beautiful bezel and it broke my heart and I was upset for about a week but I've learned to live with the pain of the dented bezel and you know I even contacted Seiko I knew it would be ridiculous but I just thought let's see how much it'll cost me to have this bezel replaced because, of course, the whole bezel would need replacing. And you know how much it costs? £500. They quoted me for a new bezel for this watch. So I said, uh, I think I can live with it for now. Uh, but, yeah, it, it hurt. It really did. Look at that. It's quite pronounced and obvious. Never mind. What do you think about that, Inspector? Not too shabby, right, bro? But these things can happen in life. Oh, so yes. Shall we put him on? I'll try to. Put him on for you guys. It's just a vibe today. I'm just chilling out and just thought maybe I'll just slap something up online for all the bros. Well, we've got this daylight. Let's make the most of it. Look at that. The Seiko Marine Master SLAO 23 on a beautiful factory Seiko strap. A sight to be seen. So that's the first one. I hope you're all chilling out, enjoying your Sunday. It's a red day because. Tomorrow is Monday, and we'll all be back to work. This is the SRP-093. Of course, I've reviewed uh, these two last night, but both courtesy of Mr. June. What's up, Bob? Freaky Bob. This is a lovely. I really love this one. It's the Jolt, the Turtle. This is the Gen 2. The SRP-777 was the first one. Uh, they changed the text on the case back to Divers Watch from Air Divers, which you'll see on my little SKX there. But that's what they did, and they put a loom sliver. But other than that, it's the same watch. I've got this on a nice UK straps, Tropic, cost 12 quid or something. It's just very nice. Let's put him on the wrist. Um, Mr. June, 
I hope you're happy now that I've upgraded your twerp from its horrific factory bracelet to this tropical bonanza. Look at him. Really nice watch. Very comfortable. 45 mil. Wears small. And is very nice. Bezel action. Eh. Not too bad. So that's that one. Uh, next up we've got a legendary piece. A true legend. And this is the 6309 7040. This is a 1981 February, so it's exactly 43 years old. 150 meters of water resistant. You'll notice that Seiko used to put the lollipop at the correct end of the second hand, and this bezel is not very nice. It's bi directional, but it's so hard to turn. Probably need about 2,000 Newton meters of force to engage this bezel. This is a Frankenhoi. It is not original. Uh, it has a new dial, handset, bezel insert, uh, the case back and the case are original. And if you will see somebody from uh, the Special Olympics has rebrushed this, attempted to rebrush this with the 50 grit sandpaper, uh, the brushwork is not for the beach. But you know, at a glance, it looks perfectly good. And for 250 quid, for a beta, not too shabby, bros. I think it's very nice. And Mr. June loves this. He's very happy with it. And he's bought this uh, Uncle Seiko, Uncle Straps, um, GL80, whatever it is, fucking thing, that came on it originally. It's the recreation, and it's very nice. Very supple, soft. Comfortability matrix is beyond Thunderdome. Let's put him on. And this one wears better, in my opinion, than the new Turtles. It really is top tier of comfortability. It's so... It's, it's almost round. The lug to lug is tiny. And although it has a wide case, it wears very well. You could wear this with a, with a under 7 inch wrist. So that's something to bear in mind. Lovely watch and uh, really like this one. And finally we have my old SKX. Uh, I put him on the cushion here because he's got a Uncle Seiko fitted strap. So it does taper and you can't lay it down flat as you could see. It won't lay down. But this is mine and this is uh, 2015 December. As you can see, it says, oh, this one says scuba diver. So, I mean, that's how old this one is. Uh, 7S26. And he has been a faithful companion to me for a very long time. And we've all got these and we all love them. Uh, there's, there's nothing you can say. It's just an absolute freak of a twab. So I love this one probably more than any of my other watches. Unfortunately, when I bought this strap, I was a bit thick, and I didn't realize there were two length options you could choose, and I chose the short one without noticing, and so that's why my tail is retarded for the beach. It's very short, uh, but uh, I would have, if I'd buy it again, I'd buy the longer one. It looks kind of stupid. But a what a piece. And this watch has been around the world with me. It's been to Southeast Asia. And uh, every time I go anywhere, I take this watch. No worries. And it's bulletproof. Never let me down. Never been serviced. Uh, nearly 10 years. And it still runs like a top. Just a classic. Classic. Classic watch. I love it. Absolutely love it, guys. So that's it. I hope you guys are all chilling and uh, love you all, appreciate you all. I love hearing from you and um, we'll see you in the next one. God bless you guys.